Hey guys, Treepsquire here. This is just a quick video to show you how to fix the resolution glitch in LEGO City Undercover. This game just came out on PC and is such a bad port it makes Arkham Knight look like a CD Projekt Red game in comparison. Okay, maybe not quite that bad. So the game developers have decided that PC gamers don't need to change their resolution so they've taken the option away to apply settings to changes in the menu. If you use the arrow keys to change your resolution and other settings like the refresh rate, the game stops you from being able to scroll down far enough to actually change the settings and apply. This is also the case when using your controller. You can't click on it with a mouse because the game doesn't even support them. Anyway, I'll stop ranting on now and actually show you what to do. Firstly, make sure you have it enabled in Windows to see hidden files or folders. The quickest way to do this is just hit the Windows key, type hidden, click on show hidden files and folders, then click on the show hidden files, folders and drives option and apply. Now to fix the resolution in the game, open up your Windows Explorer and then go to your primary drive, the user folder, then app data, roaming, Warner Bros Interactive Entertainment, then Lego City Undercover. In here you can open up the PC config file. I'd recommend using Notepad Plus for editing these files as it's awesome and free, but you can also use standard Notepad. Lastly, all you need to do is then change the resolution and any other settings you so desire, then save the file and close it. Next time you launch the game, it should be in the chosen resolution. Just to be safe, it might be worth making a copy of the config file before you edit it. Once you sort the settings out, the game actually runs quite well. On my GTX 1080 at 1440p, the game is running at about 150 to 170 frames per second. Releasing a game in this state, though, is completely unacceptable. It's not just the fact that the resolution can't be changed, it's other things like no mouse support and the game crashing when you alt-tab. The developers and Warner Brothers should really be ashamed of themselves, and I hope anyone who has bought the game gets a refund until the developers do something about it. Anyway, that's it from me. If you like this video, please let me know with a like and subscribe or a dislike if you thought it was rubbish. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.